Hey everybody, welcome to the random game on shrinking. The game I have here today is called Once Upon a Forest, and as you can see here it says, an adventure game based on the hit movie. Now these guys look a little bit familiar, I, I think I've seen those in some cartoons, but apparently Once Upon a Forest was a hit movie, um, at least that's what they're saying here. This game came out in 1995, so around 1995 there was a hit movie apparently called Once Upon a Forest. Uh, it says here, Every child has a favorite movie. The one that they see again and again. At the theater with a tub of popcorn. Sprawled on the floor at home in front of the VCR and TV. Which one was it for you? Well, for millions of kids, it's Beauty and... Uh, sorry, 20th Century Fox's Once Upon a Forest. Uh, okay, if you say so. So, I never heard of this movie. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But I, I certainly never heard of it. And I've, I've seen a lot of movies, at least in the 90s. But... The bottom line is it's an adventure game um, for kids, but it looks like a point-and-click adventure game, which is my favorite genre, and sort of, you know, I can't, I feel like you can't go wrong with a point-and-click adventure game, even if it's based for kids, but it just means it'll be easier, it'll be more fun, probably, instead of, like, incredibly hard, stupid puzzles. So I figured, let me pick this up and see what it is. I mean, it's by Sanctuary Woods Multimedia, who made a bunch of other adventure-type games, this is definitely original shrink wrap. It feels very, very soft, very, very pliant. It has one of the characteristic uh, shrink wrap holes over here, if you can see that. Um, there is some, some stuff on the edges here, but it's, it's also very soft and whatnot. It's definitely not uh, rewrap. So let me open this up. I could just sort of tear the shrink off, but I will use my unnecessary large knife and just sort of cut it from the top here. So I can do that relatively easily. Come on. Oh, wow, I almost, like, broke something here. I don't know what plastic is interesting. It's, like, so hard to get it to cut, or, like, in the beginning. But once you have, like, a, a cut on it, then it's, like, so easy to cut the rest of it. All right, so I cut that part. I'm going to cut the two two edges here on the sides. Got one of them already. Get this other one. There we go. I should be able to open it up. I didn't do the preferred uh, way because I got some bends here, but what can you do? So let's see what's inside. It's a cardboard insert, our old friend. And inside the cardboard insert, we have very, very little. If you can see in there, it's just a jewel case. Whoa! A jewel case that I dropped on the floor. Jewel case, and also there was a warranty card here that I also dropped on the floor. So this is Join the Sanctuary Woods Fun Club. Registration card, basically. There's an ad here for Multimedia Magazine, which I never heard of. There is a catalog. Well, the catalog. Let's see what they, what games they've advertised here. Journey and Project Turbo, Journey and Project Buried in Time, both very good adventure games. Um, there's some clothing for the from the Journey and Project series. Looks pretty cool. I haven't seen any of those. Like to wonder if anybody has that. Wolf, which I've heard of, but did not never looked very interesting. It did not buy that game. Radioactive, the music trivia game show, which I also never heard of. Ripley's Believe It or Not, The Riddle of Master Lou. That's a very fun and underrated adventure game. Uh, Real World Math, no. Math Ace, Math Ace Jr. Word Stuff, Word City, Sitting on the Farm, The Cat Came Back, Digby's Adventures. Oh, and Once Upon the Forest. Uh, I'm not sure now. <laughs> After all those fun games that just preceded this one, I hope this is not like that one, like Math, Ace, or whatever else, but hopefully not. Let's see, here's the jewel case. Um, it's not sealed, which is unusual, actually, for when you have a, uh, a something like that. Usually you'd find it sealed. But this one is not sealed, so let's see what's inside. We have the CD. Seems like it's unblemished. I don't see any, any issues with the CD, so hopefully it's not been used. And again, the shrink wrap almost certainly looked original. Here's the manual inside the jewel case, just where I like it, easy to store. So open up the manual. Welcome to this game. How to set it up. How to play. Interface. Not much about the story or anything like that, but I guess they assume that you see the movie. So pretty bare bones manual, but hopefully the game was fun. I'll try it out and try to put a little video of it on the screen so you guys can check that out. Hope you found that interesting. Um, I've never heard of this game before. 
I'm curious if other people have heard of this game, or if you've heard of the movie, or if you've seen the movie, or if it truly is one of the greatest movies of all time, or of 1995. I'd sure like to hear your thoughts on that. So please leave your comments. Please let me know what you think. Please like, share, subscribe, etc. And have a great day, everybody.